I'm oh, sorry, I just got to get the nervousness out. I start out. with the hardest question. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's the hardest one. I don't remember my name. Um, hi, I'm Alex Feliciano, and I own 12 on Studios. You know, I grew up in Camden, New Jersey in the 80s, and during that time there was a lot of graffiti everywhere. And I've always was into art. I was always copying my brothers when they were drawing. Um, just kind of something that I was always into. Doing my first graffiti wall, it was kind of tough because um, you had to be 18 in order to buy spray paint cans. Luckily, I had a godbrother who worked at a hardware store and he would actually sell me um, spray paint cans. And it was kind of great to walk around and hearing people talk about it, not knowing that it was me, including my parents. It was kind of um, kind of exhilarating. It was around eighth or ninth grade. My uncle gave me my first airbrush. I was telling him I saw some guys painting T-shirts and everything like that, and how cool it was. And he told me that he had one. And then from there, never really had a real job. I just airbrushed T-shirts for kids in school. And at 17, the summer between my junior and senior year, I opened up my first business. It was a kiosk in the Cherry Hill Mall. I was airbrushing a car hood, and for the life of me, I couldn't draw a dragon that day. So I just remembered, you know, tattoo artists always draw dragons. So I drove my car to a newsstand, and I'm like flipping through tattoo magazines to try to find a dragon. I'm like, I'm just gonna rip this page out. I'm not even gonna buy the whole magazine. But while doing so, while I was looking for it, I started seeing some great tattoos that had all this artistic skill, all these colors that I'd never seen before on skin. And that was like that, I don't know, the parting of the clouds where you finally see the sunlight coming through and I was like, this is amazing. I think what, what really made me really fall in love with tattooing was how hard it was. It's probably the hardest thing I ever did. It's something that as soon as I started doing it and the way that even if it was a simple name, how happy it made people, it, it was something that like, I, couldn't, I couldn't ignore it. And the idea of it is, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, it's really where you end up. So the thought process of going from growing up in Camden to owning a couple of shops and having a few businesses is the simple fact of believing that you can do it. So I mean as many art forms that I do which is numerous you know from oil painting, acrylic painting to airbrushing, watercolors, dabble in sculpture, whatever. The one that I will always miss the most if I can't do it is tattooing and I don't know. I, I love it. Um, the first time I called myself an artist, I think I was eight years old because I sold a drawing that I did for a quarter. And I remember buying two packs of Nowlaters and five pieces of penny candy when penny candy was actually a penny. <laughs>